Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze a simply supported beam with a uniformly varying load acting on the beam. You see here there is a triangular load increasing from this support up to this support up to this point, and then it's again decreasing from this point up to this point. So there is a uniformly varying load acting on the beam. So how to find the support friction for this beam and how to draw the shear force diagram for this beam so i will go through a very easy step and please follow these steps in order to find out the support reactions and draw the shear force diagram for such kind of loading for such kind of beam so the first step is to find out the area of this loading so to find out the area of this loading it will be equal to the you see here it is a triangular load so just the area formula of a triangle half base into height in this case half base is 6 meter multiplying with the height which is 8 kN per meter so meter meter will be cancelled here if you multiply and divide this value you will get here 24 kN so now this is the area of the load this means this is the pointed load this is the pointed load acting on the beam and this load will act here at this point so this is 24 kilonewton which is a pointed or concentrated load so now we know that half of the triangle is here and half of the tri triangle is here acting on the beam so simply we will divide this load pointed load by 2 so half of the load will be transferred on this support and half of the load will be transferred on this support so our a will be equal to the total load 24 divided by 2 so half of the load will be taken which is 12 kN will come here to this support RA equal to 12 kN and also RB is also equal to the total load divided by 2 is also 12 kN now how to draw the shear force diagram for such kind of beam so to draw the shear force diagram we know that support A is 12 kN and support B is also 12 kN so we will draw the reference line first of all a reference line for the shear forces and these are the important reference lines for the loading in beam you always keep in mind you always have to take the important points in your beam here the midpoint was also important that's why I took into consideration so here is the shear force in kilonewton these are the zero zero reference lines now by drawing the shear force diagram we know here that r a is acting in upper direction with the 12 kilonewton so we will start from here with the 12 kilonewton magnitude it is acting in upper direction now we see here that this load is acting in downward direction but what is the magnitude of this load we can find out how by finding out the area of this triangle so it will be half base into height in this case the base is not six meter but 3 meter because half will act here and half will act here so base is 3 meter multiplying with the height which is the same 8 so what we will get here 4 and 12 we get 12 kN from here so this load is acting in downward direction and this was acting in upper direction so 12 was acting in upper direction which was this one so it is positive and this load acting in downward direction so it is negative so we will minus 12 so what we will get 12 12 will be cancelled we will get 0 so it means at this point where the total load was 12 kN will make this upper load 0 so this is now positive shear force and similarly this load what is the area of this load so half base into height base is 3 meter height is 8 again we get the 12 kN so if we add it here 12 kN so now in this case you see here this is acting in downward direction so it will be here somewhere here in downward direction like in this way so at the end it will be 12 kN you see here the support reactions because here is also the support reaction of 12 kN so it will bring this line from here to here so this is also minus 12 kN so this is the negative shear force so this is a really easy and simple way for such kind of um, beam to draw the shear force diagram keep in mind if this is a linear load of one degree so this will be a two degree curve parabolic 
and also this will be also a parabolic curve so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos also please comment your questions if you have any question thank you for watching our video